Hello and welcome to today's teaching. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a simple topic called sales invoice. As a bookkeeper or as an accountant, you're likely to come across sales invoice when you sell goods to your customers on credit. So what are sales invoice? Sales invoice are issued by the business when customers buy goods and merchandise on accounts. So when we mean on accounts, on credit, right? So your customers are buying goods on credit and you're going to send them a sales invoice. And normally when we uh, make sales, we often do charge um, tax depending on the country where you have. Um, sales tax is often charged on most sales. So uh, we are going to look at an example. So let us look at an example of how to record a sales invoice. So when um, your um, customers buy goods on credit, how do you enter um, your journal entry? How do you record a sales invoice? So we're going to be using our manager software to do that. So right here on the left hand side, we have um, our sales invoices. So with this, we can record a new sales invoice. And what are the accounts that are going to be affected when we record our sales invoice? I'm sure you can guess right. Um, account receivable is going to be affected and our sales account is going to be affected. So our revenue account. So those two accounts are going to be affected. So now let's create a sales invoice. So imagine today we sold some goods to a customer. Um, today is the 12th or um, 22nd of, no of December 2021. We made sales to our customer and when is the due date? It could be due today or it could be due in uh, 5, 10 or 25 days. So because uh, we are giving our customer goods on account from credit, so it's going to be due, let's say, in 25 days. So I'm going to put 25 days. So we are selling to them on account and we have to create our sales invoice. So that's what we are doing now. So we are going to select our customer and the name of our customer is Light Up Design. And let's assume their um, billing address is 125 Parkway. Ontario, Canada. So that's just an example. So, and then we can put a description so that whoever is looking at our sales invoice knows um, what we did. We can say to record says an account to customer so you can be more specific you can state what you sold or you can say to record sales of you know whatever item you sold you can be more specific there so now we're going to move to the item so you have to select the item you sold right so normally when you are doing this you have to you have to create your inventory. You can see I already have um, two items in my inventory right here. So if you don't have that, you have to do that. Otherwise, um, the item is not going to come up right here. So assuming we sold Christmas tree to our client because it's Christmas season, right? So assuming we sold Christmas tree to our client. So automatically you can see this all populated because it's already set up in my inventory. So when you set up your inventory items, you have to put the uh, um, the cost, th that's the purchase price, and then um, the sales price. So that when you're doing a sales invoice, this is just going to populate on its own. So it's going to, uh, we're going to be selling it at 350, you can see Canadian dollars. And there's a six tax, like I was saying in the introduction, we usually charge sales tax when we um, sell goods to client, right? To customers. So this is the tax amount and this is, um, our, this is the total amount that we're going to be charging the customer for this particular item. So as me, we are selling both the Christmas tree and I'm also going to add another line. And we are also selling the golden ornament. So we are selling two items. So the golden ornament, the unit price is um, $5.50 and it's also 6 stars on it. So you can see how easy it is. It's just populating on its own because I already filled the information under my inventory items so now we have that and this, this is the total sales to the customer 945 dollars 
so uh, we have our customer name the address is going to be due in 25 days so we're expecting our customer to pay within 25 days and then i'm going to go to create you can see now we have our sales invoice so we can send this to our customer say oh yeah is your sales invoice and then they know okay uh, we are expecting our payment at a particular um, time so you can see it has the due dates when the invoice is due so let's go and look at our summary how is this going to affect our um our trial balance let's see what's going to happen so when we come here you can see i told you two accounts are going to be affected by the sales invoice so our account receivable it it's already um the software already um did it for us by debiting our account receivable so we have 945 in our account receivable and then we have our sales right so the sales is going to be less the sales tax payable so we have sales tax payable for the five and then we have sales of nine hundred dollars so those are the accounts that will be affected by your sales. so this is how you create a sales invoice right if you're doing this manually you have to do um, the journal entry yourself. So you have to debit account receivable for the total amount. Then you have to credit sales. So that is if you are doing it manually, but you can see if you are using the software, the software is going to do this for you. But if you are doing it manually yourself, you have to debit account receivable for the total amount. And then you have to credit your revenue or your sales account less the sales tax payable and then you have to credit your sales tax because this is a liability for your rights you have to pay the government their money so those are the accounts that are affected so this is just a simple example of how to enter a sales invoice so if you ever have a sales invoice or if you make sale to a customer on credit and you're wondering how to record it this is how you record it so these are the accounts your account receivable will be affected your sales account will be affected and then your um, liabilities will be affected so if you go to our sales invoice here, right here you see it is due in 25 days so it's going to be here until the customer pays and then when the customer pays we are going to um, make another entry to record the um, payment we received so um, that is it for this video in the next video we are going to be looking at a different topic so i hope this video helps you if you have any question you can leave it in the comment section below and i'll be ha happy to help you with your question thank you for watching see you in the next video and bye